I'm Bruce Trevathan, uh, the group CEO for the Layer X Group, uh, which includes a business called The Cloud. Today I'm going to talk to you about the HP 3PA storage server. So before we went down the road of looking at the HP 3PA, we were using uh, another HP product, Left Hand, which was doing the job fine, but as we started to scale and started to uh, see the demands of the client base that we were attracting, we knew we needed to make a change. The most valuable uh, features of the uh, HP 3PA solution for us, I would have to say, would be around thin provisioning, um, you know, being able to uh, you know, provision big and then see what the utilization is like. And ultimately, the biggest thing, if, if you draw uh, a line from all of these feature sets down to one common thing, it's really the ability to change your mind. Now, as a service provider, you have to be able to change your mind because your customers will. And if your customers change their mind and you can't, then you're kind of backed into a corner. So. You know, with the HP 3 power and all of the dynamicness of that, you're able to change your mind in pretty much every layer of the uh, technology stack. So a key example of how the uh, HP 3 power has benefited our organization would certainly be from a reputation point of view. HP 3 power is globally well known as a you know, very high end, uh, if not the best uh, storage uh, offering. But in particular, again, drawing back to that uh, performance requirement, uh, it also has a reputation around performance and it does deliver on promise. You know, we make big promises to our clients around performance. We have to be able to back that up with a technology that will actually uh, you know, support that initiative. The stability of 3Power is unquestionable. It, it, from, you know, from day one, we had had you know, not to bag the left-hand products yet because it has a place in the market, but we had had some issues with that when we really pushed it probably too far. So when we moved to 3Power uh, as soon as that became apparent and never looked back. You know, there's been no issues with 3Power right the way through. And as I say, the ability to change your mind and you know, change your RAID levels, change the way you're deploying the storage, uh, that means that you don't have to break it uh, just to make it what you want it to be. So the scalability of 3 power, bearing in mind we operate cloud platforms in New Zealand, um, is uh, far beyond what we need uh, because the, our market is fairly small and so you know, being able to scale to multiple petabytes uh, on a single SAN is uh, great, great to know that it can do that, but it's not something we've had to worry about in terms of an overall capacity uh, limit. We engage quite heavily with HPTS, uh, as we call it, technical support, and when it comes to implementing new technologies or birthing a new 3 power, then uh, you know, we don't do that alone. We, we work closely with HP to make sure that it's all done uh, according to best practice. The initial setup of the 3Power environments, uh, I would say, is very straightforward. When it comes to a new technology, not so much now because we have five 3Powers uh, in play, but when our first 3Power arrived, we spent a month trying to break it. And we do that with any new technology that we're not comfortable with or not yet confident uh, in, in, in terms of our own use of the product. And so. Uh, Getting that imp implemented and trying to break it for a month, you know, we couldn't break it, so that was good, but uh, that's kind of our model. In the future releases of 3PAR, um, in terms of the overall roadmap, now I have been to the, uh, the CDN booth and I obviously can't uh, say too much about that, but you know, HP's roadmap tends to align very well with our uh, expected roadmap, for lack of a better term, and in terms of where we're wanting to see the technology go in order to accommodate the needs of our clients, uh, HP have a roadmap that aligns very well with that. Um, so I would say I don't have any particular requirements that I don't think HP already have on their roadmap uh, without saying what they are. So prior to the HP 3 power, we were using uh, left hand. Prior to that, it was really uh, local disk in the servers themselves, which you know, doesn't scale particularly well. Certainly not uh, back when we started. There was no concept of a virtual SAN. So most recently, we have uh, implemented a, the all flash or the entire uh, flash based uh, 3 power 7450. And the, the roadmap towards making that decision was really around performance. We've always uh, kept a couple of keywords close to our heart with relation to our branding, and performance is one of those, quality being the other. And so the, the all flash environment has uh, enabled us to deliver on promise with regards to performance. Other than HP, we've been talking to, I wouldn't say working with, but we've been talking to both Cisco and Dell, more so with Dell over the years. But we've really uh, failed to engage to the level that we have with HP. HP have always been incredibly engaging, incredibly communicative with regards to not only the product sets that are available, but where they're going. And the entire ecosystem around these product sets is really what adds the ultimate value. Anybody can buy a hard drive and stick it in a machine, but you know, being able to support that long term, understand where that technology needs to go, and then get it there. 3 power gets a 10, naturally. Yeah. When researching flash storage, you know, a lot of people think I can buy an SSD drive from my local computer store and you know, SSD is SSD, right? Well, that's not, that's not true. There is uh, enterprise SSD is very different. 
but then you've got to consider the whole environment around that. You know, you can read and write to an SSD drive, you know, how many times can you do that? And what is keeping an eye on that for you? So the entire HP 3Power environment is managing that for you and making sure that your data is not going to suffer you know, bit rot or any kind of degradation or corruption. Uh, and so that whole enterprise solution wrapped around that SSD technology is what makes the difference.